Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a very simple mousetrap design that looks like it's gonna work well. It's a wooden box with a tunnel for the mouse to enter. On top, there's a clear plastic lid, and inside's a door that locks down when the mouse enters. It looks like it's homemade, but on the side it says Amos Machine and Tools, Rudolph, Ohio. So apparently there's a machine and tool company that's made a few mouse traps. The way you set it is you lift up the locking bar and pull up the trap door. There's a little tab right there that keeps it from falling down, but it's very slight, just enough pressure to hold it up. Now when the mouse enters, you put the bait back here, it will turn around and step on it. And when it does, it closes and locks in place. So basically the mouse closes and locks the door behind it. Now it looked like they used bait in here. There were a few seeds. I'm gonna place some sunflower seeds back here and see if the mice go in there, turn around, step on the door and get caught. So let's go get our pet mice and see what happens. Man, that worked so well. As soon as it stepped on the door, it got caught. Let's take him out, put him back in his cage, and we'll go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can catch wild mice. After setting up the mousetrap in the barn last night, I'm now calling it the Simply Awesome Mousetrap. The design's great. The mouse enters, its body's in the back of the trap, then to get the bait, it steps on the door, it slams shut, and you got him. Now I'd be happy if we caught one mouse, if we caught two, that would be awesome. But we caught a triple, a hat trick. All three of them packed in there like sardines, then one turned around and closed the door. They've been trying to get out, they're gnawing right here where there's a slight air hole. It's important we have the nail in there so they can't slide it open. These are non-native invasive house mice, so I can't let them go. Instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So let's set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a three course meal of three non-native invasive house mice.
Well, our awesome Amos mousetrap was able to feed a raccoon, but it almost choked on the furry rodent meal. It was funny to see it spend a little more time chewing on the bones before swallowing after the gagging incident. But overall, I'm very happy with this simple mousetrap. It's a great life catch design, especially where they have to go in all the way to shut the door. It seems pretty foolproof. Okay, I'm gonna try a few new things at the end of my videos. And one is a caption contest for the thumbnail photos. I posted that a week ago and I got so many responses. Here are a few of my favorite captions that viewers came up with. Quite a few of them had to do with this crazy time we're living in with lockdowns and quarantines. And one of my favorites is, has anyone seen my mask? I can't come out without my mask. Well, I do care about my employees, my Mousetrap Monday staff, so I'm making sure everyone's protected with my new safety policies. Everyone has to wear a mask. And there were quite a few variations on this comment. A little privacy please, everywhere's my bathroom. With the look on its face, it says, I'm pooping right now. I'm always pooping. And that's true, as soon as I put our mouse in there, it started pooping everywhere. A poop machine gun. And finally, I've been getting so much fan art, I thought I'd start sharing it with the viewers. Here's one my son Carson did for the mouse man. So if you have any fan art, email me a photo and I might feature it in an upcoming video. I'm now posting two videos a week on Monday and Friday, and I have over 600 videos on YouTube, so if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button. And thank you so much for watching.